Okay, we're live. Hello. Welcome to what is most likely not going to be the laggiest stream you've ever watched. Unlike last night. Give me a sec to pull up the stream. Okay. It's pulled up. Okay, so last night, if you remember, we did Luigi's Mansion. I did complete it, but it was probably the laggiest, and quite frankly, I'm aware that it was a pretty bad stream. This is how I'm continuing the Super Mario RPG videos. Anyway, I'm just going to wait for people to join while this intro plays. This, a lot of people say this is a terrific game, and I'd have to agree. This is one of the best RPGs I've played, but time for confession, I've never beaten this game. I know how the story pans out, but I have never fought the Axum Rangers or... Or, I, I have never done the final dungeon. So, after the culmination of Mallow's character arc, I will be 100% blind going in. Aside from, from the story. And I think this is, this will be a good way to gather up some hype for the Super Mario RPG Remake. Coming out in, I think it's two weeks, maybe three. Yeah, uh, we just get to see every party member we're gonna get. Gino, the fan favorite that Nintendo has never reused, ever. Oh, sorry for the lag spike that I'm seeing now. Apparently when I switch to Discord to check on something, that happens. Princess Toadstool. Fun fact, this game was made before Peach had an actual name.
Oh. That's fitting. Apparently my files got, got deleted. Oh well. My name is Skeena. First, first, uh, the effect isn't as strong on people like me who didn't grow up with the old Mario games. But, at the start, keep in mind, this is the first Mario game where the one goal is not to rescue Peach. To a lot of kids playing this game for the first time, this was unprecedented. We're already at Bowser's castle. We don't have to go through worlds one through seven. We're just there. And I think this game does a great job at just teaching the player without explicitly telling them how to do it. And if you want to be told how, how to do it, that is still technically an option. Okay, I pressed the guard. No, it doesn't matter, but still. Enough fighting because, uh, we don't get experience for these battles. You don't technically have to get the action commands for any of these. You're, you're always going to one-shot them. They're always going to do one damage to you. I don't think it's actually possible to die unless you go out of your way to make sure you die. In other words, you just constantly guard. What? <laughs> I am Peach. Oh, don't say, was I about to clear this boss without taking any damage? <laughs> Coming, Mario. I did not think you were just gonna give her to me.
Super Mario RPG. We have been thusly booted. Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're, you're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Sure. Oh, right. Alright, so I usually play Earthbound on this emulator for the sake of fast forward. So I'm used to using save states because, let's be honest... It's funnier to play Earthbound with save states. Not in this game, though. Your dad won't randomly call you when you've just started playing. Yeah, there's gonna be some lag spikes for a sec. Okay. So, this completely flew over my head as a kid. I think what Smithy is talking about here is how if it weren't for characters like Mario, Link, Samus, Final Fantasy would be the all-time superior franchise. So, yeah. <laughs> I like that little detail. That's how I choose to, to interpret it, and I'd like to hear your way of, of interpreting that line. This is the best way they can convey Mario's words. <laughs> because, remember, Mario's a silent protagonist. <laughs> Received the mushroom. Of course I know how to use items. This is when Toad would force you to use the mushroom, but this way, you get to save it for whenever you actually need it. Because, he only reduced your HP by one. Now, from what I know about this game, if you're into min-maxing, some people would just do the tutorial regardless, because I believe you get experience from this Goomba. But I know about time hits. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about time hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. He just leaves. Now, obviously, no spoilers in the chat, please. This will be a series of streams. This will be the sh the shortest stream. But no. If you like RPGs or if uh or if you want to try to get into RPGs, this is a great game as a entry level. 
This RPG is nowhere near as difficult as a lot of others. And it's a good and it's a very good way of showing what an RPG is at its best. Even if it's a little easy. You're not going to have to worry about obsessing over your stats, making sure you have the highest stats. It's a very newcomer friendly one. Oh right, going over Mario. Yes, I do know how all the characters work. I've gotten to the end game, I just haven't beaten it. Mario is the one party member you can never take out of the party. But that's also because he's an all-rounder. A, ja a jack of all trades, master of none. He has good stats in pretty much every department, but but every but every other character outshines him in a specific stat department. Mario is the perfect leader. He can use fire attacks and jump attacks. Jump attacks. We'll go over them in the next encounter, I believe. And you have a chance to get two flowers. A, a, a once more and a HP max. HP max does exactly as, exactly as advertised. It maxes out your health. Once more gives you another turn. Okay, this game really likes me. And those timed hits Toad was talking about, they are basically, they are basically your action commands. Every single attack in the game has an, has an action command. And actually, you can't, you can't see what their normal attacks are, you just have to know. But, let me go into special. This menu sh tells you when to press the button. Push Y just before the hit. I hope I don't have another blunder like I did in the no commentary walkthrough. Where I sold a flower tab. And yes, a lot of pro players of this game will see that as taboo, but don't leave just yet. It was because I thought I mapped the the B button to to the Y button. I literally pressed the wrong button. Going over jump attacks. If I use a normal attack against a flying enemy, it doesn't do a lot of damage. But if I use a jump, that's a lot of damage. Wait, what? Uh, I am not... I must have uh, joystick drift. Oh, and that number to the right of the top of that of that tab that, that I opened, that's called your FP. If you played Paper Mario, you know exactly what it is. It serves as your it serves as your MP for special attacks. You don't you, you don't raise it by, by leveling up, you raise it through another means. And all party members share FP. This game's got to have some challenge so somewhere. Personally, because when you block it, there's a high chance they're just going to do no damage. I don't see any point in wasting your FP on these guys. Especially since they go down in two hits and their speed is low enough. To where Mario's most likely getting two turns. Let's help Toad. And sorry if I'm explaining a lot, but uh 
just trying to explain what I'm going to be using for the rest of this stream and, and for the other streams. Something else I forgot to mention. It says at the bottom, Mario learns a new, a new technique at level 3. Plain and simple, when Mario reaches level 3, he's going to learn a new move. Now if I go to status... Alright. Hold up. I need to try to remember... Okay. Notice how Mario has zero defense. He is more resistant to magic than getting punched in the face. I never got why there's two numbers though, if I'm being honest. If someone might be able to explain that to me, please go ahead. Give me a second. Something I was curious about last stream. Why wasn't my live chat appearing on, on my other monitor? go chat hallelujah I can see what you guys are typing now I'm greeted with the white screen though Okay, there it is. Alright, so now you guys can chat and I'll actually see what it is you're typing. Oh, so close to a level up. Now, unlike other RPGs, there is no... There, there are no first strikes and back attacks. Level up. When you level up, you will always get a stat increase, but you get to choose what you get a bonus in. You can see how, how, how much it'll increase before pressing B to pick a different option. I'm gonna go with magic on this one. We're already doing so much damage.
Oh, that. That is a flower, and that is how you upgrade your FP. Like so. I now have 11. I keep pressing Y. Flower Tab does the exact same thing, but it fully restores your FP. I, I, I like to say those for a full, save those for a full FP restore. These spikies are actually heavily resistant to jump attacks, so don't use your jump against them. Oh, lucky! You know what? Might as well show this off. You have to guess where Yoshi is. If you're wrong, you lose it all. If it's a tie, nothing happens. If you're right, whatever it says doubles. Huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, buddy. You have a mean streak. I have a mean streak, too! One down, one to go. This music is honestly very catchy. That's the other. Now, if you don't do this, I believe Toad tells you how later, but you can equip a hammer, and it, ha and, and it gives you a- wait, no, I thought, thought it gave 11, it gives 10. Each weapon also has its own action command, so learn them and you'll prosper. Alright, if you're going for 100%, prepare yourself. This is your one and only chance to get this. Jump on Toad's head. Then jump up here. Frog coin. That's the only surefire place I know to get a frog coin.
<laughs> Alright, Mario, tell them! Not an option, mate. I beat him up. Well, well. I, I was gonna rescue Peach, but then I got flung from the castle. Oh no, it's giant sword! No. That's what I would have gotten from all of that. <laughs> The pantomime sections are honestly some of the funniest parts in this game. Let's get moving. Mario! I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Got him out. Mario! Ow, what the heck? Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about Go to the cellar. This is when the game would teach you about about the different types of items you might be able to find in item boxes. First up, coins. Small ones are worth 10, the large ones are worth 10. No, small ones are worth 1, large ones are worth 10. I already explained that. Eight, that gives you more flower points. I, I didn't explain that, but that is a full restore for your entire party. It can only be used once. So if you know one's coming up, use it wisely. Come back here! Uh, I'm gonna hit him with a hammer, and I'm gonna do some of this. You got more jump in you than a box of frogs. Yeah, this guy's a frog. You know, I'm a little busy, buddy. Sorry. No! Goodbye. Oh wait, we can't go anywhere else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you're supposed to actually cheer him up. The young frog, Mal, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario on his quest. Mallow is your mage. Oh, I think I finally get what the two numbers are for. The top number is, uh, for... Is your base stat, while the bottom number is... Is what stat the game is actually using. I wish that was in more games. Anyway. 
Mallow is a mage. He uses magic. He'll also learn a... a healing move. Strangely enough, Mallow is the only one that you don't have immediate access to a weapon for him. Not so fast. Take, take this with you. You might need it. A pick-me-up is basically a phoenix down. It's a revival item. I'm gonna buy some armor and... I'll buy accessories later. Mario, you equip the shirt. Mallow, wear some pants. I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Do you look something like this? Rawr. Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home, jeesh. Give me a break here. <laughs> I love that. Uh. Anyway, aside from the next three party members we get, I'm not going to be explaining anything else, really. Other than my general strategy for upcoming fights. Oh, I couldn't jump to save my life. Do you know who, who you're talking to, pal? I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. You don't look that far to me. You're going, pal. I would have gone for it because this is what it contains. An invincibility star! This is by far the best way to grind. You get the full experience for for every encounter you one-shot with it. 
HP right. Oh, great, he's terrified. I forget what that status means, though. So. Fire Orb. Um... None of these bonuses are that good. This is probably the best one. So yeah, those invincibility stars are kind of why this game is not too much grindy. Unless you're doing the stuff that is intended to be ludicrously difficult, you're not really going to have to grind. Yards much faster than, than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you 100 more years to catch me. Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you 50 more years to catch me. You again? This is getting old. It'll still take you. Enough! You got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. Oh, did you really believe me? I was lying. Croco is weak to fire. Ouch! I wish he was weak to electricity, so, uh... So Mallow would actually have a use here. Give me back my coin, or I'll belt you again. Ouch. I gotta pay you back in spades, kid. Go on, take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. All right, we got it back.
Ooh, a wallet. Nice spring. Now's a good time to mention a boss will always fully heal you. By the way, that frog coin we just got, it does not count towards our total. Yeah. I cannot wait to hear to hear the new music for this. And what happened here? gonna get that from Mallo and that from Mario. <sighs> Ugh. The jump shoes turns all of Mario's attacks, well his normal attacks, and classifies them as jump attacks. I order you to stand before me. Now I order you to jump. Yep, there are hidden blocks. So let's do what Mario does and help the townspeople. Help the toads! Wait, I, I just realized I have a lot of flower jars and tabs. Let's give him his wallet back. A flower tab. Again, sometime soon. Let's help the toads! Thunderbolts!
You know what? Just normal attack. How about another Thunderbolt? And how much FP do I have? Okay. He forgot all about his son. Parent of the year, everyone. Boing, boing, boing. Now this guy can jump. Bop, 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 bop. Another flower tab. Now we're really going fast. Dang, that is some serious stream delay. Okay. Oh wow. I can jump higher or I, I can jump higher lady. Increase your health. This ain't the time for jokes. gold coin a gold coin and it's all mine oh i found this in the cellar here you can have it what are wait if you guard the vault who's guarding it right now ah uh, never mind that vault guard i come here to save him and he runs into the next room <laughs>
Bum the boat. can one turn these guys. Chests have refreshed. I'll take that extra flower point and full heal. Let's clear the way for this toad. Not so fast, pal. Look at him, can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we should bounce on his head. How about I zap you? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna zap you. Feel the wrath of Zeus! Flower tab. Yeah. All right. Mm, wait, I could have sworn I'm in the wrong room, aren't I? You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? <laughs> he then proceeds to fully heal you. Hold up. I need to double check online where this item is.
Okay, so that's an item that we will collect later because I'm seeing that it might be funnier if we do it later. Feel the wrath of Zeus! Where do you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long, and there's no one here who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away! That rhymed. Let me use a flower jar. Not so fast, pal. Look at him, can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head. I've heard that line. Hey look, a knife. Well, hello to you too, Mac. Thunderbolts! That should have one-shotted all the enemies. Mac is stunned. No, no special attack for you.
Oh! I was actually worried that he'd, he might actually break out his super attack. Oh, another HP max. Okay, Mario's just not going to die at all. I'm calling it now. Mario is a unstoppable immortal being, apparently. Hey, Chancellor. Remember when you scared me? This was my revenge. Not really. But that's what I'm going with. I like how in this game, everyone in Mario's party just canonically sl just canonically rests in his pocket. I think that's a good moment to call break time. Huh. They're gone. We might see them again in Mary Moore. Alright. Enjoy a bouncing toad. I shall vanish for, I think, uh, 10 minutes. When I return, we'll mo we move on to Kiro Kiro Sewers. As I got up, my headset fell. Okay, 
now I'm really gone. I'm going get some. I'm going get a snack. I have returned to talk with you guys, and I see that my controller refuses to allow me to do a funny bit while I'm while I'm talking with you guys. So, how are you guys doing on this fine day? I hope you had a pleasant Halloween.
All right, who's ready for some more Mario R RPG? Because we are back. I wish I had one of those break titles so I could better transition. But to Kiro Kiro Sewers. I already know how to enter the pipe. Especially since the game kind of forces you to do it before you come in here. So this is a maze and I get lost very frequently in it. One of these. Yay. Uh, I forget if these things are weak to magic or physical attack. Okay, physical attack it is. Uh, no, not Thunderbolt. You need to heal Mario. Oh no, Carney Kiss. Mario reaches level 5. My dog constantly wants to bombard the stream. A true form pin. It's actually going to be very helpful for the upcoming fight.
Once again! Once again! So many once again. I I usually never get this many. Wait, no, I, I, I think that was the right way. Oh, wait, yeah, this is different, but... Got it! No, this is the superstar room. Oh, there it is. A full heal. Gee, I wonder what's coming up. I actually do really want that treasure chest.
Okay, never mind. Service has been kind. Uh, I think this might be a little hot for you to handle. Never mind, uh, it's not too hot for you to handle. Let him go! Wait. <laughs> I'm the one with a true form badge. Well, true form pin. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Scarecrows can't use items or attack. Oh, Mal is back to normal. Beware the flood. Cryptic, cri cryptic warning is cryptic. Midas River Course. No, I know how to play. Let me get those frog coins. Wait, what? Oh. I didn't realize those were a thing.
dun, 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 dun. Wait. That's a flower. No. Yes. Yes. No. Come on. Put it in my path. Put it in my path. Put it in my path. This is torture. Yes. Okay, I guess I'm not doing that one. Guess I'll pick this one. Yay, flower! <laughs> I didn't know these were caves until this stream. Barrels. No, I don't. I don't need pointers. Have a cheap jeeps. A knock knock shell. I got two flowers. I don't think that's a bad deal. I think that's plus 30 to Mario's attack now. That'll be it for this stream. I need to get ready for an event later. Like I said, this gonna this is gonna be the shortest stream. I plan to shoot for at least three hours with these streams. Next time, we're gonna continue on to Tadpole Pond. Pond. See you guys then. <laughs>